Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this video, we will simply be practicing the skills we learned in the last tutorial. Open up your Gumball.3DM file downloaded with the Level 1 Rhino Training Manual. You will need to turn off the visibility of the cone layer, then turn on the visibility of the puzzle layer. Pause this video now to try putting together the puzzle on your own. There's really no wrong way to do this, however, there will be a more efficient way. I will start by turning off the visibility of my number 5 cyan colored puzzle piece. This will allow me to better see my number 1 red piece. To attach my number 2 purple piece to my number 1 red piece, I will first move it over to the right, aligning the puzzle piece teeth with those of the red piece. I will only be doing a close enough job with this. If you wanted to be exact with your movement, you could get it as close as I have. Then click and drag your object to free move it. Using your object snaps, you could align the two objects perfectly. Now obviously we need to rotate this piece so that it is vertical. If I were to rotate this object right now with the origin set where it currently is set, we would still need to do some moving of our object. So we will use the menu ball to move the origin of our gumball as we did in the last tutorial. Click the corner endpoint of this puzzle piece as the first reference point. This is where your object snaps will come in handy. Hold shift to toggle on orthographic mode. Then select horizontally and vertically from your first selected point. Then we will rotate our object a negative 90 degrees. I will essentially do this with all the pieces of my puzzle until we get to piece number 4, which will be a simple vertical and horizontal move. And there you go, that's all it takes. Like I said, there's really no wrong way to do this. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave a like, check out my other videos, and subscribe.